This week's Pilch Point with Avram Pilch is proudly powered by Pure VPN. The best way to protect your privacy online is with Pure VPN. You can hide your online activities, say goodbye to regional restrictions, and improve your streaming quality. Plus, it's available for almost all of your devices, and you can get a special price uh, right now by going to pilchpoint.live slash purevpn. All right. So what have you got for us tonight, Abram? So crypto mining. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so the, if you've been trying to buy a graphics card lately, you may have noticed that they're all sold out. Uh, unless you go to eBay uh, or someplace like that, or sometimes the low end cards like the 1650 you'll see selling for something like $400, which is something some, which is, you know, more than two times their, their MSRP. It is a very bad time to buy a graphics card. Uh, one of the reasons why it's a very bad time to buy a graphics card is that people are not only snapping them up for gaming because mm -hmm. There's been a huge, uh, you know, there's been a lot of shortages and everybody wants the new uh, NVIDIA RTX 3000 series and the new uh, AMD Radeon 6000 series. And both of both of those are, have been nearly impossible to get. But so have older cards. Uh, it's, it's really, really difficult. And a lot of people are using them for crypto mining. They're using all of a sudden where mining had kind of fallen out of favor or fallen out of favor, at least among PC users, because Bitcoin, the most well-known currency, uh, people stop mining with PCs and they mine now with, uh, with ASICs, uh, systems that are made specifically, they don't use consumer graphics cards that are made specifically to mine and people buy those and those work so much better than PCs. Nobody uses PC for it anymore. However, Ethereum, another currency, uh, is still mined with PCs, and Ethereum has been uh, going up. And so people want to mine Ethereum, and there are people who are doing even, there are people who are even buying laptops, setting them up in like laptop farms, uh, taking the covers, the casing off so they can cool them better, and, and running a business that way. Uh, to try to one of my favorite photos uh that i saw this week online was the the little tent city of of laptops that had the the bodies pulled apart but they're all like like little like little teepees all, all around on the ground because they're all doing uh crypto mining <laughs> pretty pretty funny photo Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. There's China. There, I think. Yes, you're looking at. I think the uh, we have an article on Tom's Hardware about this uh, that they have uh, like basically crypto mining farms in in China, um, and they've just set up a whole bunch of laptops. I think, and I think the reason they're using laptops is just that it's hard to get the desktops. It's hard to get the desktop cards. So this is one way of getting, getting their hands on, on the uh, one way of getting their hands on something that can mine, even though it m laptops are not the best for mining by any stretch. Um, nevertheless, uh, for those who, so mining it, um, a lot of people are spending a lot of money and frankly, it's not a good get rich quick scheme. If you haven't been mining already, there's a good chance that, trying to get into it, you're probably, you're going to lose money because there's a good, because even though everything's going up, up, up now with Ethereum, uh, it's going to take a long time for you to recoup your investment. Um, because not only do you have to spend a lot of money on the hardware that you need to mine, but ongoing, you're going to have to spend money on electricity because unless you have some type of solar home or something where you're not really paying much, if anything, for electricity, you, you know, the cost of, you've got to figure, figure that in to your, to your cost. So 
just getting the fastest or most powerful card is not actually the best mining solution because if it's using a lot more, a lot more electricity than the number of hashes that it that it um, can process, you're not doing well. So uh, our graphics editor Jared Walton went through and tested uh, tested about two dozen graphics cards to see which gives you the best mining performance for the money. Um, and and he looked at uh, how much power they're using, uh, how much money you make per day at the current value of Ethereum. Uh, and this is, of course, and he looked at the price going by the current eBay price. So granted that the prices are, are out of control, this is what the current out of control prices are. So um, this is an accurate picture, at least as of the other day, um, as of a day or two ago. So um, the, you might be surprised to hear that the most uh, efficient mining card is the best for your, uh, in other words, the least amount of days, least amount of days to break even your investment uh, on it is the old, this is what, three, four year old uh, GTX 1060. The uh, NVIDIA GTX 1060 right now goes for about $271. Now, if you already own one, then it goes for, and you, it's sitting around doing nothing, then it goes for zero and, you know, you will be using, uh, we figure that the daily profit on that would be about $2.82. So it would take you 96 days to earn that $271. Um, followed by the Radeon RX 590, which generates about $3.16 a day and would take you 106 days to break even. Again, this is because not only are we talking about uh, cost, but we're talking about wattage. Uh, as far as you know, giving um, all you know, money aside, uh, cards that use really low wattage for relative to what you're going to generate. Um, the RTX 3060 Ti is, is fantastic in that regard. It uh, uses only 116 watts and it generates $7.08 a day of profit. The most profitable card per day, but keep in mind that it's using 279 watts, is uh, the RTX 3090 at $12.26 a day. Um, and this is assuming, of course, that it is going all day long. So 24 hours a day, which does not even keep, you know, which does not even keep, does not even, you know, keep into account that hey, maybe your card won't last forever, right? If you're running it 24 seven, the fans will wear out, you know, will, you know, will the heat uh, eventually, uh, eventually kill, you know, eventually kill it, you know, who knows how many years you'll be able to continue using that hardware. Uh, but, you know, it, so you can see that at $7 a day, from one card, from one PC, this is not exactly a great get rich quick scheme. Um, it, it, you would need a farm of these, tons and tons and tons of them, uh, and you would need to be paying the electricity for them. And that's not just the card, you would need obviously the rest of the computer around it. Um, so there's, you know, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of reasons that this isn't a great way to make money, but if you already have the cards and you want to give it a try, uh, you can check out our article on which ones work best. Uh, we're also going to have uh, some information about how one could get started. Although this is not necessary. If you haven't already gotten started, you mean not want to because it is you know, you're probably not going to come out uh, massively ahead. And let's keep in mind, these things go up and down. So this is based on what Ethereum is worth today. Um, what's Ethereum going to be worth in the future? 
I mean, no one can say, but these things have gone down massively before. So I, I wouldn't count on, um, I wouldn't count on this being, um, being a great long-term strategy, but there, but like anything else, there are people who have invested a lot of money in it. And these are people who have giant farms of, of servers, giant farms of laptops, giant farms of, of computers. And some of them are willing to pay, you know, $2,000 for, a, for, you know, for an $800 graphics card because they have such a huge farm of these and they're, you know, they're totally committed. And I guess, I guess that, you know, they'll earn back in six months or something like that. But, um, you know, I personally, I'm not going to spend, uh, spend my time on this, mm -hmm. but I know that it's an area of great interest for a lot of people. And, uh, if you're interested, uh, to check out our article on uh, the best mining GPUs, we've also done a story about, about mining, uh, about mining efficiency and we've done a story and we've done a story about mining laptops. So, um, so, ch so check it out at Tom's Hardware. Now, uh, obviously we talked, you were talking a lot about Ethereum there. There are others that are seeing some, some pretty big, uh, spikes right now. Dogecoin. Well, there's that one. Um, uh, Monero is the one that I've been following lately because you may remember that <laughs> I did a test a while back after we uh, talked about a particular product that ran in the background in JavaScript on websites um, and kind of by accident <laughs> during that test, we mined uh, a number of, a number of coins uh, and um at the time, they were worth about a buck and a quarter, and uh, right now, they are worth two hundred and thirteen dollars. So, yeah. it's a pretty nice yeah, accidental accidental windfall. <laughs> it, uh, no, that's, that's not bad. And look, I mean, if you have if you have hardware lying around, and you electricity is either extremely cheap or or free to you. Uh, this might be an interesting thing to try. I just wouldn't recommend people to buy a lot of expensive hardware to yeah. get into crypto mining. Yeah, for sure. But if you've got stuff laying around, maybe, um, you know, you can you can give it a shot. I mean, it's certainly, it could be interesting. It could be an interesting thing to learn from. Uh, so, uh, and and it's gotten a lot easier to do the mining. Uh, there's a service called nice hash that makes it really easy so uh so there it's definitely um you know it's not hard to get to get started uh there's also a uh, minor gate which was uh pretty easy click 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 and you're off and running so there there's there, like you said there's ways to do it i remember when when things were really crazy the first time around uh People were looking for every opportunity to to find you know every penny they could in mining, and um, uh, there were people who discovered that based on the cost of their electricity, they were paying more than like twenty five dollars a day for their rigs. They discovered that if they uh, rented a hotel room in Vegas, they could run them <laughs> in a hotel room for twenty five dollars a day, <laughs> and it was less than the electricity they were paying. <laughs> Did the hotel room eventually catch on to this? Because I could imagine you'd get away with it for a little while. I would imagine that that some policies went into place after it. But yeah, it was it was definitely a, a fascinating time. Uh, yeah, for people who have been around the show for a long time, you probably remember that my brother was heavily into it. Um, he had an investor, and they built a whole business around it. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> fascinating. Fascinating. I mean, space. it's also just a colossal, you know, a colossal waste of ele Well, maybe you want to talk about a waste, but it's a colossal use of electricity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, yeah, I read something, some stat on the the cost of mining 
uh, per day, and it was a ridiculous amount of money. It was like it was more than like the the GDP of France or something like that. It was absolutely ridiculous, but whatever. It's not not my space to get into. Uh, it's 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 a thing that I'm interested in because of the the other side of it, which is the the uh, blockchain side. But yeah, cryptocurrency has never been my place. But I, like you said, a lot of people are interested in it, and uh, I appreciate you uh, bringing us the details. <laughs> yes, we we also have an article on how to mine with your Raspberry Pi, which you can do. It may take you several years or something to mine a coin, but uh, but you can do it. You can attempt it. That's so. that's that's pretty funny. Well, you know, you, to each their own, right? <laughs> well, Avram, thank you, uh, and I look forward to what we talk about next time. Hello YouTube, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Pilch Point with Avram Pilch. Uh, if you did, please subscribe to our channel, and of course hit the notification bell since subscriptions don't mean much on YouTube anymore. Uh, and if you've got topics you'd like us to discuss in the future, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Uh, if you don't want to follow us on YouTube, that's okay. There's a lot of other ways that you can follow our content. You can find all of that by going to plughitslive.com slash subscribe. There you'll see all of our shows and all the different ways that you can watch, listen, and follow along.